starts. So in this video, what we're gonna be discussing is the acceleration phase or the start out of a track block stance. So in a previous video, we talked about our track block stance and we went over a lot of aspects of that, right? Where we start from here now is three things are really gonna happen at the same time. The most important one has to happen or the other two don't. So the most important one is, is the reason we have that strong leg up in front, for my case here, the left leg, is we're gonna get that extension and push all the way through the toe and extend that knee, that hip, all the way through our torso and our upper body. So we're gonna almost jump off that front block and create a flight phase, a minimal flight phase, but a flight phase where we extend and push through the toe all the way through the ear. And so what you'll see here is we'll show you that in the video, that's gonna create a nice angle, probably somewhere a little below 45 degrees, and we're gonna be a rod from our ear all the way through our ankle, so we're a straight line. So you hear so many people say bend or lean in the blocks when you're starting, and you have so many athletes that will then bend from the waist and break that rod. You're not bending, you're creating an angle and that angle is, a, is utilizing a rod allowing you to drive your knee up and push yourself back. If you bend, you're going to really either do two things, fall on your face or stand up. So from this stance now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that, the first step one is the extension that push off that front block that creates that angle. Then the back leg, um, for me in, in this video, here's gonna be my right leg is going to drag across and then drive up. So we're gonna imagine there's a pane of glass and we drive that knee up and try and break it and then we drive it right back uh, where we were coming from, and so we drive it backwards. Remember, we have to push our force in the acceleration phase backwards to propel ourselves forwards. So we push off of one leg, allowing us time to drive and uh, drive the other leg up and back. And then the arms here, what they're gonna do is they're not gonna push us up so we stand up, they're just gonna split and rip. They're gonna tempo my legs. So I'm gonna put force through them. We're not so much worried about the mechanics of the arms, of how bent or straight the elbow is, what comes natural through there. It just needs to be a relaxed motion so it can be violent and explosive. So those three things, if you can get them to happen at the same time, you're gonna set yourself up for each step. Remember, as we get the first step and it drives back and we extend, the second step and the next step is the most important step. You're trying to get that pop, 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 or that plyometric response, pushing backwards, propelling yourself forwards, creating the angle, not bending and making the angle, and then tempoing your arms through there. So step one and all three happen at the same time. Push and extend, get that propulsion out of that front leg, that creates that angle for you, drag drive and tap or drag drive and drive back that second leg and split the arms. If you get those three things, you're gonna accelerate out and build and set yourself up for your race, which is gonna help you with your start. Because if we if we stand up out of here, our first step is gonna be a lot closer to the line where my hands are, and then my next step will be closer. And so we're not we're losing right away in the first couple steps because I'm only gonna get, let's say, five feet. But as I extend out of here in two steps, we're gonna get six, seven, eight feet. So if there's a three foot difference between you and the person next to you because you did your blocks correctly and your acceleration phase correctly, that could be easily the difference between the end result of the race. So that's how important the blocks are and really just fundamentally understanding it and then working on it. This is something that is learned, it takes time, but you can certainly teach yourself and the better you get at them, you're gonna set yourself up for your races and then you're going to be in, in front and not trying to come from behind at the beginning of every race, which obviously can win a lot more races for you. So try and keep it simple, but the more you do it, the better you're gonna become and push and extend off that front leg, rip those arms and drag, drive and tap that second leg, set yourself up for your race, set yourself up for more wins.